join so I can add you. I can see you're there. Okay, Mika, so you have to um, send me. Yes. There we go. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Amazing. You look fabulous. So, yes, because I'm dressed as a bit Easter egg. <laughs> of course. I, I would not expect anything less. Yeah. Than so, uh, welcome everybody for the second official episode of Morse Coast by Bessa. If, um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Bessa. Surname is irrelevant because it's way too difficult and it doesn't have no uh, glamorous meaning. So uh, I'm a fashion stylist and art director currently based in London and I'm originally, uh, originally from uh, Helsinki, Finland. Uh, let me introduce my second guest, uh, stylist and consultant, Mikko Vainio, who I've known for years and years and years. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, uh, hello, could you tell everybody you. who you are and what you uh, do? Okay, so yes, we've known for years, and I think the biggest challenge is going to be like, I'm going to giggle all the way, so <laughs> <laughs> I try to act like, <laughs> like a talker. So yeah, we've known for years, and it's like, I think we both have the same path in a way that we've been doing like lots of different kind of stuff. Like, uh, I myself, I started my career as a hairdresser. Um, I've been working both in the salon and also doing lots of editorial and fashion weeks and photo shoots and stuff like that. And that way I kind of like drifted a bit everywhere. And lately, I still have my roots strongly in the hairdressing, but I've also been doing like a lot of styling and consulting different magazines and companies about fashion. And, you know, it, I don't choose what I want to do, so I deal with everything. Yeah, but that's great. So, yeah. uh, could you tell everybody where you're Morse coding from? Where about in the world are you? Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm coming from Finland, Helsinki, isolation. So that's well, uh, well, welcome, fellow Finn, fellow Finn. Uh, yeah. So, be, uh, before we get get it crack a uh, I would like to ask you, like, could you please tell everybody the first memory or the first time you actually met me in your own words? Because it's been, a, it's a long, long time ago. Yeah, that's been on for years and years and years. And it's like, <laughs> you know, because you're not that old. So you must have been like a teenager when we met first. And you're, you're just like started the modeling. So I think it was like somewhere at Udemar, Kati or something. Like, it wasn't showed up, but it was somewhere like maybe 30 or something. I think it was kind of like even how fashion was going on that you were doing this kind of renaissance multitasking thing that you were organizing more and everything. But it was like at least 15 years ago, even more. Even no, because, yeah, because I can tell like, it's like, yeah. I remember seeing you for the first time. I actually was, was 18 years old and I was a bar back in a very cool bar in Helsinki. Yeah. And there used to be this, um, uh, iconic party called La Perra that would be only once a month and people would dress yeah, up like I'm crazy. I'm not, I'm not. And uh, I remember I used to always ask that day uh, off, that one Friday, so I could go and party with all of you cool kids. And yeah. I was hoping that maybe one day I'll become one of you. <laughs> so I hope I I'll I'll you managed to do that. And uh, a second funny story is that a lot of you people don't know. I, I used to study hairstyling and, and this this gentleman here was one of my first bosses that when he was working for uh, TG Hair Care in Finland, yes. like, he actually hired me as a as an understudy or a trainee or whatever you may call. So it's, uh, 
I owe a lot to you. You know, I in, my, in my family story. Uh, I'm not sure like it's Terhis, yeah, but I don't know if you remember Terhis. During the Terhis, like, it was like we're doing these kind of inspirational hair shows around Finland. It was like a four man band, like, you know, like <laughs> multitasking as a model and uh, kind of. <laughs> And I remember even helping out in the makeup. That's why. That's why I, it was, was makeup, not. There was makeup. There was styling and the modeling, and then it was same. And you bought like carrying stuff, and then all those big boxes for products and everything. We were just like, oh yeah, well, that was fun. It was fun times, but yeah, it was but it crazy was too. Like, it was the kind of thing that it's nice to do, but you have to be crazy to do it. Of course, but we are crazy. Everybody knows that, and yes. I wouldn't want to be any other way. So, um, could you tell? everybody about like how how is this whole COVID-19 crisis manifesting in in Helsinki and in the motherland like how how severe is it there because here in UK now we are there's like thousands and thousands of people are dead and it's it's very serious uh, at the moment it seems like the situation is a bit easier yeah it's not easy anywhere but it's like uh, uh, and we can still like move outside. There's a lot of like uh, social, like uh, you have to isolate yourself, and all the bars, restaurants are closed. Uh, there's a lot of limitations, and it's 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 weird. Like the whole city is empty, but we're trying to handle it. But at, at this moment, also like there's like different countries have like different strategies, and it's impossible to say which is the one which is working. Like it's one situation here but of course we follow different scandics and like Denmark is different, Sweden is totally different than, but we're hopeful and we've been isolated now for say like three weeks and uh, it's weird people are kind of starting to get used to it as much as you can in this great situation and just kind of trying to move on with their everyday life and work and everything but it's it's, it's, it's really weird, of course, as, as everywhere. But I think after the first shock, people are now getting a bit used to it and kind of adapting. And uh, although this is a crazy situation, I try to find the positives. And now it's also like people are doing like new things and trying to create new ways to survive and everything. But it's hard for everybody. It's yeah. Especially for the small businesses. And I'm a small business too, so exactly. but there's like a lot of especially like restaurants and like uh, all the creatives and arts and culture that are really, really kind of suffering. So it's hard for everybody of course as yeah. everywhere. But we are not in the darkest places. So well could you darkest. could you tell um everybody like how how has that affected your your work you know as a consultant as a stylist like how has how has it impacted your business at the moment well like i think there was the it was like about three weeks ago there was like so drastic to change like i still remember there was this wednesday i still had a meeting where we were planning this big mass event and the show yeah, and uh, everybody was speak like, let's see how it goes. Like, there's this corona going on, and like, we might have to cancel, but we we're still planning it. And the next day, there were like the news that okay, it's gonna be like all these limitations and everything. And the next day, all my gigs, like the bigger things, the most of them were canceled, and like, basically, like, in one day, everything changed totally. Yeah. And I said, it's like my roots are in the salon work. I, um, I was working in the salon now. You now, for this month, I, I like uh, closed my calendar. I had some bookings that um, I, I was cleaning my calendar, yeah. So, but there was like some bookings that I've been still like doing carefully, but basically, like, I, I quit it out because, of course, like, although you do. Even if you're like super careful, like it's always risky, but yeah. sometimes I'm working on and it's a tricky situation. And it's like well salons, of course, like if you have to like uh, you have to think about your health, but at the same time also like there's a lot of people like if you close your salon you won't get any money from anywhere. So yeah. you know, like uh, 
they have to choose like you know, buy food or you buy work so it's hard yeah, yeah and they want to talk about getting like uh, support for small businesses um yes there's a lot of nice plans but nothing's happened yet of course like yeah. there's a lot of planning and spacey situation but still like uh, we're waiting <laughs> Yeah, but it's, I think it's the same everywhere. It's like the, the same question marks are here in London as well. Because even though we, we have to remember also the sort of fact that like nobody was expecting this to happen. So, yeah, but it was, but it was, yeah. I wouldn't even expect these crazy ideas like this. Yeah, and, uh, and, also, and also with the governments and, uh, and these type of like massive, massive, massive like aid plans to put into play it's even though it sounds like great and it's like something that i'm just like definitely let's get this going but we also have to be very uh patient in the sort of sense that it doesn't move in a day we're talking about like massive massive uh uh infrastructure changes so yeah but i'm just i'm, I'm just happy to hear that even even in uh, in finland that is titled many times like the best country in the world you know it's like even so you know you can't move a mountain in in 24 hours uh so but from from that on a lighter note since you are a hairstylist yeah can I, just, can I just ask you a quick question what do you think about this massive trend of like people doing self-barbering and changing their hair and uh, is, it, is it a good thing to cut the hair off or would this be the perfect opportunity to get those like barbie locks and the, the great hair flowing for for the free time after the quarantine i think it's, i think it's kind of fun it's like actually I've, i've seen this kind of like micro trend also going on that people are speaking about the corona hair like what the fuck let's shave the hair off or like i have to leave my hair by myself i'm gonna have my green side do this and that and everything so i think just like uh, just go for it have fun and go crazy a lot of people was like okay i'm like off my work for two months anyway staying at home so whatever i like, have a pink hair nobody will say in the video meeting so i don't know it's yeah just just go for it and try all the crazy stuff that you kind of wanted to do but normally don't dare to so i think it's time to go for it just exactly. have fun Exactly. So, what do you think about my? I, I haven't had this long like hair in a long time. It's nice. So, so I call this like this is my Golden Girls Blanche Devereaux hairdo. It's Blanche like, is always such an item. Yeah. So maybe a bit of like tiny, tiny bleach for someone. Not like long, long, but kind of some kiss. You know, like more for the surf. Blue like blue. That's well, at the, at the moment, at the moment the closest I can get to a bleach and stick my head out of the window and just lay in the sun I guess. Uh, uh, are you are you currently are you uh, isolating by yourself or with someone someone else? Oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah isolating with guys so like I have some company so amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So so like um I don't know if you tuned in with uh, the first episode with Yossi and yeah. uh, he he obviously is a is a married man and he was isolating by himself since you are isolate with isolating with your partner uh have you have you noticed any type of changes the way that you your relationship has changed because of this sort of forced situation with the with the uh what you know uh i have to say like the changes have been positive in the way that we haven't ever cook this once together <laughs> yeah, i'd like you know together and time together which is like not ever happening so i think overall like there's been also positive but i i hope like there's positives for everybody like for, for me like it's been slowing down i've been cleaning at home doing stuff like that i've been supposed to do for weeks months even for years like organizing places there's still plenty of food but but yeah like relationship wise like i took time together and kind of slow mode from now uh, something we don't normally ever ever had so and it's funny that uh, although I, i still had like some work and like um some that i can do like uh, emailing and organizing stuff and stuff like that but i know this i started on the slow mode also like i like a 
one or two tasks for each day. Uh, then I cook, maybe clean a bit, and I'm like, oh god, I'm so tired. <laughs> and then I have to stuff like that. So, yeah, I kind of, yeah, I'm kind of like going to a bit like a holiday. But that, that's, but, that's, I'm really happy to hear that because, like, uh, trust me, everybody, when I say that this, this man never used to slow down. He was always like pushing forward, doing things like been here, there, always, you know. Yeah, but that's been the scary part it. because it's like I haven't had a quiet moment since I, I've been really thinking about it. I haven't had a quiet moment since I was a kid. It's been always oh, like this crazy, hectic, busy schedules, like one place to another. I think even my holidays have been always like a lot of programs, seeing people and everything. Which I love and I enjoy it a lot, but it's. I think this is kind of time to crawl and slow Rip down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think and I hope I have learned something from 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 this. Yeah. Have Have you noticed any since since now slowing down? Have you noticed any type of like changes in you in the sort of like mental? in the mental game like have you have you felt more at ease do you feel you know panicked about the situation do you uh, feel anxiety uh, i think uh, yeah i think it's like i don't know it's like these different phases like when this all started it came so suddenly and it's like uh, um I'm so used to working like a high stress situation. So when this all started, it came like from nowhere. It came, came a surprise to everybody, I, I, I would say. Like, not total surprise, but like how it started, it was such a big bang. So I think in the starting, I was, I was reacting like I reacted with my word. I was just like really calm and kind of counting things and how should I do and how I'm gonna organize everything that's gonna take care of them like just like really kind of focused and that came that kind of panic uh there was the last really long but maybe a couple of days that I was really like being like, okay I'm gonna have like a meltdown I'm like fuck this is not happening it's so crazy and there's like kind of this despair and kind of feeling of hopelessness and like fuck 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 we are fucked <laughs> and uh, other than now that's gone it's out of me <laughs> and now I'm more like floating like it's uh, situation is bad but what can you do just like keep on yeah, going yeah. and find you kind of cope with it and try to manage take care of people around you take care of yourself and kind of just follow up what's gonna happen. I think also like this being like different kind of um also like periods and um, I've, I've seen like depressions like the 90s and stuff like that but this is something different like the whole world is gonna be totally different after this so you just you just like uh, follow and see what happens and you have to adapt and hope that's gonna be good for all of us. I think it's kind of like uh, she the time for us, but I hope it's going to be a better world for everybody after we kind of... Yeah, yeah totally. Like, totally, yeah. Because, because I remember going into this, uh, like I opened on, on the previous uh, live session, that I went to this in very, like, realistic. Like, I was straight away, I realized that this is going to be a situation that's going to last a long time. Mm. And uh, I remember in the beginning, rather than being, you know, panicking, I was more angry. I remember just being yeah. so angry why people don't get it. Like, why is this important? Like, remember, I used to be so, so angry. You were and, quite angry. And, like, uh, just one man uh, Yeah, and then people would just say to me, like, why are you panicking? I was like, I am not panicking. I am just frustrated that people don't seem to get it. Mm -hmm. And then after I kind of got over that, I, I sort of realized that the lesson here that, you know, we, all of us, as a whole, as a humanity, have completely like forgot about sort of like element of empathy and to stop down and just like, ah, okay, because it's happening in another country, it does not involve me when it should involve us. And maybe that's like the sort of like great lesson to be learned here to be a bit more aware 
not only about the things that affect directly to us, but also, you know, on a bigger spectrum because we're, we're yeah. together. Yeah, I think this is like um, positive are that although that we are in isolation, I think also people and also different countries are more in together than ever before. Yeah. And also even through the isolation, thank God we have this like exactly applications and demos and stuff like that. But at the same time, I feel like although we are isolated, that people are more connected than ever before. I do, I say for myself also, like I've been myself, I've been contacting my old friends and like. Uh, and people that I've known years ago and stuff like that more than ever before and also kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's nice to be in touch with people. Exactly. exactly. For, from, for, and there's time for From that, do you know anybody personally that uh, has been affected by the COVID-19 as in gotten sick or, or has had to do some extra measures apart like more than what you have had to do yourself? Uh, it's, it's, it's been again like we don't have it that much in it. It's been like uh, this friend of a friend story. So when it's like that, it's I don't. It, it's it's so hard. Also, I I try to kind of be smart. Also, because there's so a lot of false news, yeah. information, and gossips and stuff like that. So uh, if it's this. I heard friend of a friend of a friend has yeah, that, yeah. so I kind of try to be careful with that bunch. But but from my close circle, from my friends, from my clients, like there there hasn't been any yet. Luckily, okay, but that, yeah, that, but of course it's gonna happen eventually. So it's just like a matter of time, but it's not. not but that, yet. That's that's good to hear that that so far so good. And and what I've been following, like Finland is, has managed to keep the numbers very low, so. Uh, that's very good news, and it's especially because Finland is a very small nation as well. So there is isn't that many of us, you know. Like in London, we have like five six characteristics that you know <laughs> is like that we are anyway isolated. Like these yeah. people are not really social, so like we and we anyway <laughs> have the distance. We are not the big huggers or kissers no. or anything, and we always have the space around us. So these kind of Funny Finnish kind of things. Actually, they are really good at the moment because I think they're kind of keeping us safe. Yeah, because I think that the means. Yeah, of course, like never kind of touch me. Yeah, because it's, it's probably going to be that the memes after this is like when before the Finnish queuing methods, like leaving like two meter of apart yeah. from each other, was weird, and now it's becoming the norm. So we're going to be like, it's going to be funny. In, yeah, in yeah, before the corona, everybody was always like, don't come close to me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, yeah. Well, anyways, let's move uh, on to a bit more like lighter lighter uh, subjects. Uh, you are known for immaculate sense of style. You love to uh, express yourself with clothing, as far mm -hmm. as I know and see you. So, have, has that changed now since you've had to be at home? Or are you, are you turning to the same as me that you're just huffling around in the PJs, like Gollum holding on to your like uh, microwave PJ, like my precious, because that's uh, my life. I think I've been actually like <laughs> compared by like my everyday life. I think I've been even more dressing up because that kind of keeps me insane. <laughs> and like it gives me the routine. I shave, I comb my hair. I don't do it every day. I have like the days also. I'm just like uh, yeah, in my pajamas. So yeah, usually dressing the underwear. But but yeah, and I know it's like I started to dress up when I do my groceries because it's like a fun moment of the day to <laughs> walk to the local store and do the groceries. So, it's nice cold. The, uh, the sun is. It's been nice weather and everything. So yeah, but it's like all. I I think like fashion or dressing up. It's been always a uh, way of expressing myself. But also, I think it's just kind of small things in life that can bring you joy. And I think like now, even in the isolation, it's been like that. 
do that. I guess I found for myself, so I do it also when I'm isolated at home. Of course, like this those days, but yeah. For sure. Well, could you tell me, uh, like currently, I'm sure that you have thought just like the, the rest of us, like what are your absolute positives about this crazy situation? And what are the negatives that you've experienced that you, you can like, Uh, positives. Like, what do you see? That how is this going to like positively affect you, mm -hmm. you and your and your business and your your life? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Business, this is still about fashion. So, I would say it's there's been so a lot of thing uh, discussion about like uh, how people would start thinking more about the environment and consuming and everything so I think I think this is gonna change all of that and I I hope this also bring a bit like kind of like uh, smaller values for people and I think like uh, yeah I think I think this corona although it's been terrible it's, it's been also kind of like wake up call to for people to see what is important than them and also like the importance of meaning of smaller things in life and people around you and everything so yeah it's it's been like a terrible wake up for everybody and also kind of to see what is important and what you want from life exactly like i i feel i feel exactly the same and i really it's, it's almost like the sort of you know, it's it's painful, and uh, of course, it's like it's it's crazy when you are denied to do certain type of things what you always used to do, and it's it's quite funny how quickly a, a human gets used to things. So I yeah. mean, what what I take this is like don't take things for granted. It's almost like the sort of things that you would say when you hear somebody of your, your family member gets cancer, or like oh they should have done this, or you should have done that, and you la di la di la di la di but I think this this applies to everything and it, it's been such a like a beautiful thing to see like how people are helping each other even the people that you don't know your neighbor comes yeah. to the door and I really hope that this sort of um, ideology will live on after this horrible time is over yeah yeah it's, it's, it's been the same here also the people are helping their neighbors and even knowing their neighbors like what know that before now that like I was living next door and are they okay and everything small things like that they are they're really important. I hope that stays also like after we have like beaten this awful disease. And now of course because all the small businesses are in big trouble so there's been a lot of like people are helping and buying like uh, gift cards and things like that just to kind of help small businesses, restaurants theaters, artists, parks, everything like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been great to see how people are really, really willing to help. And also, like, I think a lot of people have kind of opened their mind and heart for helping others in the way that hasn't happened before. Yeah. Do you, do you think that this, this type of, like, mentality is going to uh, change or innovate the way that you are going to work in the future? Is this like well, in the sort of sense that are would you consider like you know start doing some sort of like form of charity or like try to innovate your expertise in your field into something that is going to be supporting like in a major level the community? Um, I would I would say that uh, in all the businesses, whatever it is, it is if it's fashion or whatever. What? Uh, I would say that the real value is also the transparency of the company is going to be even more and more important. Now. It's not only that you kind of push your business and sales and stuff like that. And I think like uh, consumers are going to be much more aware in the future, which is really good. And I hope also that companies are going to be more honest in what they do and 
not I understand the businesses want to make profit but I really hope that it's going to be the only thing that is kind of pushing them just like um, you can do your business and still make the world a better place kind of yeah but that's that's really amazing to hear because because a lot of people if you if you've never seen Mikko before I'm sure that many of you all around the world know who he is that he he has so much influence on and he's very inspiring to many people and we're so so happy to hear that you feel like that because because you know when you have influence you have also a lot of responsibility and you know I believe that the biggest trending thing after this is like doing good and it's yeah, but, uh, yeah but I think also all these things have been in the air for a longer time it's just like this Corona, corona has been like a kick in the ass to everybody like we have to do stuff and it's a terrible kick in the ass nobody deserves to have but it's something we have to try to get some positives out from it also and just like yeah. as a reminder that there's a time and need for real change in many things we consuming but not only consuming but also like how we live in the whole bit of people and so it's yeah Totally. Um, I am going to ask you next. Yeah, was that this one? You've, you've, you've said so many. I'm like, I'm already like, wow. Like, you, you didn't lie to me when you said that you you talk a lot and you're like, oh, and you're always like, oh my god, you're taking all my ideas away from me. Uh, um, well. Let's just go before we go to the interactive part of, of this. I've received a lot of questions. Uh, oh. <laughs> now, and now that I actually forgot to mention all of the people who are tuned in, tuned in, you see there is a question box. Now is your time. Send your last questions if you have any. Ding, 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 ding. Over I mean, there. I got some blind for the question box. <laughs> yeah. So, so to ask, like, because now is your chance to ask. Uh, amazing questions from Miko or from me. Well, I'm going to ask you, what do you think now since it's Easter? Uh, uh, about first, we're going to ask about your great outfit. But what do you think about like uh, the sort of topic? Are you are you worried about the fact that, in, especially in this type of public holidays, there's a lot of companies, especially here, they're posting like alcohol sales. Like, what do you think about this type of thing? It's like people uh, pushed into quarantine and drinking a lot of alcohol. What do you think? Do, what What do you think? You know, it, yeah, of course. But <laughs> do you <laughs> see this as a problem, or uh, or what type of uh, um, you know pros and cons do you see in this type of? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. There was like uh, there's been the news that in Finland. Uh, things are also like heavy drinkers as you yeah. know but it's been like worries about like, oh, how long we survive and people can drink so much oh no I hope not but um I would say like for us here at home we've been cooking more and um uh, sometimes like if you like done the like fancy dinner we had a glass of wine with that but it's been like a couple of like, nights in a week but then, like, we haven't been going, oh, the oh, darn and bars or anything. So, I don't know, it's just like, not be smart with it, but I think it's with, with, with anything. Uh, people are concerned about the confirmation of alcohol, but at the same, it's like, also, I'm a bit worried about my eating because it's uh, easy. I don't know, I think I'm just like eating all the time. Like, the whole time, like I'm hungry constantly. And uh, we're cooking, so that's yeah, that's not really healthy after a while either. But I uh, did my whole workout as well, so there's a lot of risk going on. That's that's the main thing. I think it's like when you're bored, you kind of lose a lot of time. So I think any kind of substance, alcohol, food, <laughs> like can be. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a bit dangerous for me it's like it's really it's really weird for like i i thought that i would never say this in front of anybody ever because you know people who know me you know i've never spit on a cup i do like my vodka i like to yeah. dance i like to kiki i i used to smoke for 16 years and this yeah. goddamn corona crisis have 
made me stop drinking, not in indefinite, but yeah. I'm a person who cannot drink if I can't go and dance and see people. It's just, it's like imprinted in me that I can't do that. And I've completely stopped smoking, which is, you know, hail Mary, hail God. I don't yeah. know what happened. Just like that. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's kind of like a cleanse. That's really good. And I have to say, it's like, okay, uh, although I've been like enjoying a glass of wine here yeah, and there, but it's just like wine, no, it's not alcohol, it's like nothing, not like we have no support of it. But I mean, that's good. It's been just like a nice wine with the food. And uh, yeah, I would say, like, also because of this, and also because of the slowing down, like, although I've been eating a lot. Uh, it's been more balanced and I have like schedules so I feel like I've been sleeping better and also like my belly has been working better you know it's because like I have like this structure mode now in my days I'm not just like uh, running and eating something here and there so I have like more balance like it. But that, that, that's good. Really, that, that is that's amazing to hear because I think you know everybody should do that so it's kind of like a take a little minute and just like be a bit more merciful for themselves like for me it's, it's quite weird like yeah I, I ditched the alcohol and i ditched the cigarettes but mm. since since starting to yeah. uh, this project i've been just working 24 7 and i am a person who just if i'm on the zone i stop eating i stop doing all of that sort of stuff so yeah, I'm eating, i kind of believe in balance with doing things like that's that's well that's something that suits me right? it's like yeah drink here there and then i go running and you know it's just like a balance of stuff i want to have fun life but also take care of myself so of it's like yeah but that's what life is about you have to enjoy it's not about so suits me like people have different ways of coping but that, that's of course well, could you tell everybody about your fabulous outfit? Because everybody's asking. I can see like people like Style Hero, you know. What is the uh, story behind this? Uh, because it's Easter, I decided to dress up as an Easter egg. <laughs> 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 and I suppose I actually, um, uh, it's vintage and it's by Bob Mackie, the legendary. Amazing. Yes, so it's a vintage shirt by Bob Mackie, and I thought it's perfect for Easter. Like Easterish, so yeah. And uh, I found it from a um, vintage store at Brighton, actually. Brighton is perfect to a vintage, so yeah. I found so of cool stuff from there, but this this is from there, and it's really yeah. I've been saving for Easter, and it's perfect for the special occasion we're having now. But I, I assume it's not the first time you're wearing it. Mm, yeah, I think yes. Oh, I wow. I have a lot of stuff that I buy, I know that I'm going to wear it and I just like hide it and it's okay now it's not. Yeah, so you're like a true fashion icon, only wear things once or twice. Uh, but I, I, I've worn them many times, but I'm old that there's so many years <laughs> in between that people don't remember that. So it's like, uh, I do wear things many times, but there's just like, yeah, break and sometimes years in between them. Amazing. So where do you get your inspiration to all of this? Like, what, what is, uh, uh, you know, like, what, what inspires you? Or like, what, what do you what do you find inspiring in, uh, whether it's a piece of clothing or, or or what you do in your work or in your personal life? Like, what it, what, it, what inspires you to be so goddamn fabulous? Um, I, I, I'm sorry, it's like a, I would say almost like uh, the inspiration goes in the air. It's so funny because uh, for my work also I've been doing kind of uh, French scouting and with hair or with clothes like whether I'm going to be the friends for the future season and stuff like that. And there's always like where did it come from? And it's just like uh, it's just like it's it's funny. It's, it's somewhere there in the air. You you go with an open mind and it comes from the music celebrities commercials traveling to certain places and it's it's funny because it's happened so many times also that i think that here yeah, i'm so innovative or creative that now i have this amazing idea and then i realized that there's so lot of like-minded people who all got the same idea at the same time 
and it just like came from somewhere so it's just like you have to sense and smell it so for me when I look at my inspiration I would say like just being the active is the same thing actually that I've been kind of running away from now but normally I travel a lot and I kind of try to be social see a lot of people and I think uh, fun part for me is like when I travel I always try to go to kind of nice areas find nice restaurants bars and see people watch people and that's that's like what's inspire me most people and also like people around me and of course nowadays it's like all the Instagram and uh, TikTok has been a big thing I yeah, I'm kind of in TikTok but I haven't done any videos because I feel like I'm too clumsy for that so I'm, I'm too <laughs> I, I just feel like, like I'm too TikTok old. is booming now uh, I think I'm too old Oh, we, we literally have like flown by. I believe now it's the time for the interactive part and we're going to start dabbling into the questions that both should do in Uh Actually, now I've been watching Gossip Girl. I, start, <laughs> I started Gossip Girl from the beginning because I like the styles and it's been fun and it's also like I watch a lot of TV shows and uh, we just finished the third season of the Elite, like the Spanish Elite School, which is super good, I like that also. Right. also comes, yeah, that's that's really good one. With Gossip Girl, like, that's not the best series, but it's a good styling and just like this track. I also like, uh, noticed that when I had the, like my different Corona periods like the first uh, being super smart, then like the collapse, and now it's just like crazy. <laughs> so what helped a lot was also like uh, just like escaping from the news and stuff like that. I'm, yeah. I'm not like uh, holding myself from all the news, so I, I still do what's like uh, news in the morning and stuff like that. But yeah. I kind of try to avoid what was in too many news because this is like making me. Yeah, it's it's for a few months. So, Gossip Girl, we just watched the Mean Girls and all kind of light comedies. Oh, like yeah. the game uh, class. I want to escape a bit, you know, just like yeah. usually. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Like now, what I do is like when I wake up in the morning, I check, I check the the British news, and then I check always the Finnish news. I've done that since years yeah. and years. I moved uh, moved away from uh, motherland Finland, but currently. Uh, I've been watching uh, more movies. Like we've, I've done like the Hobbit uh, series. I've watched Lord of the Rings, which I still yeah. hate, it, which I still hate. And I was like, I'm going to try to like it, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's good. It's like it's yeah. And then, but now I really want to start watching. I don't know if if you guys remember uh, a TV series called Alias by where Jennifer Garner it's made her mark. I am obsessed uh, with that TV show. Yeah, but uh, actually, we have gone by a new DVD player because we still have all the DVDs in our basement and we have saved. And we have all the Golden Girls as DVDs, and that wow. would like perfect for Corona because like it's always positive, there's always happy ending, and it's the best one-liners and really inspirational also as style wise like. All of them best so well, <laughs> and then we have also all the dynasties DVDs. So I just wow. spent like uh, isolated like for the next two or three months. If I get a DVD player, so please yeah. somebody bring me one. Okay, so next question: Have you learned any new skills or revived any of the old ones during the uh, quarantine? Yes. I have a new skill, but I, I, it doesn't. <laughs> you, you don't need much skills to do it. But I have done it before. Like um, we call it like in English, you, you say salva cabo. Maybe in English, like yeah, it's like you go, you go jogging with the with the ski. Yeah, I think it's called like Nordic walking somewhere. Like you said so. It's like like a skiing without actually skis, but you have six in your hands. 
So that's really good because like I was doing like these long walks where I like to go out from the house and about like a walk as long as you keep the distance. But yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a bit boring. Like I, I walk around like my neighbors sometimes, but, but like that's one that's really hard to speak. So it's good for your like upper body, hands, opening your back. And it's like usually it's said like that's something for the grannies and old ladies do, but actually like it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think that yoga at home, well, yoga do anyway, but like I haven't done it at home before, so that's like my business. And I also like, I cook a lot of like dishes that I haven't done before. I haven't, I haven't gone to the baking yet because everybody's baking at the moment. Oh, like, I am baking. Well, I'm baking. I admit everybody's baking, baking like, but social media, everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing like this banana bread and stuff like that. But I haven't done any baking, but I've been cooking so much, like, yeah. Okay, so More than for me, obviously, the, 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 the revived skill is doing this. A lot of people don't know, like when, uh, sorry about the sun, the beautiful sun is coming back. Oh, the sun is so nice, it's here, it's, uh, it's almost nine o'clock, so the sun is gone. Yeah, so, so I started this project because I, I used to be one of the first people that I used to collaborate with Nokia, with the first <laughs> like smartphones doing blogging back in the day so if i wouldn't say that the blogging but like going back to my techie little roots and reviving yeah. that so next uh next question is uh how have you been occupying yourself during isolation i feel like we kind of like covered this base quite quite a lot like obviously baking uh stick walking yeah uh, <laughs> And it's also, it's, it's so crazy because like, um, time is just like vanishing also because I've, I've gotten this bit of like slow mode and I was speaking my friend, uh, with my friend who's also here in and like basically like, uh, I still like, I'm, I, I cancelled all my clients and everything but I had like some special things that I've done but anyway like even if doing like one task for a day I so like, oh, that was hard. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna never ever get back to my normal routine. Now, but it's like, maybe I I shouldn't. Like, maybe it's good to keep a bit more slow. But yeah. now it's like uh, one or two tasks per day, and I'll be just like, I think also I've been so busy for last yeah. years. So I, I think it's been more slow. I just kind of letting the all kind of tiredness and bad energy go on. But yeah, because I think we've been like forced, like the society has been forced us to do more and more and more, produce more and more and more, be faster, be quicker, be, be this. Even even in, in the fashion industry, I remember like when I started, I was a model, like back in the day, and you would take a Polaroid to test the, the light, mm -hmm. or you would have like two rolls of film, and now it's like endless. Like I remember, like I, I, I can do now 14 pictures, like crazy, uh, you know, high production pictures in eight hours before yeah. this would take five days. You know, like you would really like master the craft. And, and I wish, I really, really wish, and I'm going to push that we're going to go somewhat find like a nice middle ground with that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like uh, before this crisis, there was like uh, this kind of that there's a lot of people who are unemployed and then there's a lot of people who work and they do work for three or four people so in a way like that it, it, it wasn't like I divided me fairly like some people don't get any work and some people have to do like loads so yeah I hope it's going to be more kind of equal great we have we have more questions coming in so this one is a, yeah so here's like here's one uh uh directly directly to, to me and says besa do you follow the finnish news and if yes how do you feel about living abroad at this time that's a very interesting thing because i like i've like i've said earlier many times that you know you get used to things so so fast so mm -hmm. Now, I've technically, yeah, I can't get the questions out. 
say it stupidly, uh, because I've, I've been living abroad now for a good over, over a decade. So really? to, to me, even though like I, I am still very- Those are big days, you just moved a couple of days ago. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's like, um, yeah. I've, I've lived away so long that even though I am Finnish and, I'm, and I love where I come from and, you know, my, my heritage in sort of sense, I now every single time I've you know visited Finland, I've felt completely out of place. Like yeah, it's, it's almost like that my brain has, you know, I've been forced to, you know, go through this type of evolution that the sort of things that what what was and how the society is in Finland does not apply to me anymore. So yeah. for me, I don't I don't see myself British. I don't see myself anymore as so much like Finnish, I'm more like a world citizen. I've lived around around yeah. Europe. I understand that. And so, it's also like when you move abroad, you kind of think that the place you moved out would be on kind of like a pause when you're out, but when you come back, it's like same, but everything's changed. So exactly, makes you feel a bit like uh, ruthless. And exactly, and of course, like when I read, read the Finnish news, because I do that every day, just kind of like. You know, because my my mom lives in uh, Gran Canaria, so we talk about a lot of stuff that still <laughs> happen in, in Finland. Just because you know she's she's a Finnish woman born in the 1950. So I like to be up to date. You know, everything what's happening now in Finland, especially having the the youngest prime minister who is a female, which is like it warms my heart so much. Yeah. And the work, the work that that she and her government has done, I'm, I'm you know, a blow up in awe. It's something, the type of thing that the world has been waiting for, you know, you don't have to be a a certain gender to be a prime minister or be anything. So I'm really uh, proud of Finland in that sense, because we've had a female president. Um, I was surprised like when I was in London before Christmas and Everybody knew about it because, like, normally people are not following our politics or doesn't even know where he's been. Huh? So everybody knew about my So it was a massive thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was. It's it's spectacular. Here's another question: something you haven't valued before, and is it going to be the one of the first things to do after this is so? Um, Have, have you realized something that you're now valuing and what is going to be the first thing you're going to do after the quarantine show or is over? Uh, I would say like my number thing is like I haven't valued enough is like my time that now when I had more time I hope in the future I hope I'm going to get more busy also because now it's yeah I have to work as well, and I want to work. Yeah. But I hope I'm going to have like more, also like these more quiet moments, just kind of chill and be social and take care of myself and my friends. But I don't have like one thing that I need to eagerly do after this. And it's it's funny that there's other people also who've been asking about that, and that there isn't anything like really spectacular. It's just like I kind of like with these basic things that actually I miss like my morning routines like going to swim in the local pool and have a sauna after that, meeting my friends so that it's just like me then go to have a drink somewhere it's just like at the neighborhood and just like uh, uh, I miss these small basic daily things that I might not value it normally so much because they are so kind of normal so that's the kind of the biggest thing I miss like doing my normal daily small stuff being social I'm really social like it's been it's been nice I enjoyed my time here at home and it's been good to relax but I'm missing people also like going out and kind of just sitting somewhere watching people yeah for, for me it's like obviously the like big thing, like a big thing, even just before this, you know, I've been valuing a lot of health, you know, there's been, there's been like very serious like health issues in my intermediate family. 
in the in the past six months and also like you know that sort of like inner conversation with myself especially because i used to be i used to smoke very heavy and yeah. you know this type of thing is like you know you know i've, I've learned to crazy enough in, in doing like a massive crisis with a virus viral epidemic but i am i've learned to value my health and i'm very grateful and uh of I'm course yeah. i think we all value our health in different way not yeah so, it's been a big eye-opener for everybody to kind of value and respect the things we have and don't see them as like uh, don't take them for granted because yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not it's a good thing. Don't take anything branded, like not your health, not your friends, not your everyday lives. So, yeah, enjoy what you have. And the first thing I want to do, let's see if I'm going to be able to, because we're all like so broke after this is done. I would like to yeah. hop, hop on a flight and go and see my mom in Gran Canaria in the sun and drink too many cocktails and crawl home. That's a perfect plan. At 6, 7 a.m. in the morning. Okay, we have six more minutes left of our fabulous podcast. Oh, yeah. And what we're going to do that is going to become a tradition on the Morse Post by Vesa, and that is going to be the speed round of questions. So it's going to be yes. one or the other, and you just answer the one that you feel is more quintessential uh, you. Okay. You see, I'm, I look horrified, yes? <laughs> I'm a lifer, I'm a lifer, I can choose anything that's so light. Well, like, these are very, all, everything is very lighthearted. Okay, let's start. Gucci or Prada? Mm, Gucci. Vodka or wine? Wine. Yoga or gym? Yoga. Heels or flats? Heels. Decadence or glamour? Decadence. Uh, chaotic or pedantic? Chaotic. Shy or forward? Shy. Blonde or brunette? Brunette. Movies or TV shows? Movies. Rave or a cocktail bar? Bar. Yeah, I think like, what I do most. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like secret. Maybe I want to go to the rave. Uh, I would love to go to the rave now. It's like, <laughs> yeah. uh, Eurovision or a rock concert? Rock concert. Oh wow, that, that I'm in shock. Uh, Madonna or Lady Gaga? Madonna. Yeah. And that's it. So thank you for everybody who tuned in and thank you Mika so much for being with us. It's been so much fun. Yeah. And, and, and uh, everybody please 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 you know if if uh if you have any questions to me or me feel free to follow follow drop us a DM in our socials. Uh, yes. You've seen the trailers everywhere. You know, let me know if you would like to see more Mika in the future. I have a lot of, lot of, lot of great, great people for all of you to meet in the few upcoming weeks. So thank you. I'm doing this for all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Be all super safe. Have a very nice Easter. Drink, get merry, and uh, keep yourself safe. Is there anything that you would like to tell? Just being here, and now I'm gonna cook again, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy. So I have you that relax and peace, and say bye, everybody. And like, yes, we'll be in touch. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, love. Yes. Ciao. Ciao.